Hi guys, welcome back to Manifest with Armony. My name is Armony and I'm a Law of Attraction consultant. This video is about how to believe something is possible despite the situation that's not working out for you. So this is kind of what the question itself of is it possible is all about. Um, and the question that was asked in one of my in the comments from one of my other videos was how do I believe anything is possible despite my specific person situation? And see, this is why I can't answer a question like any reasoning person would answer a question because when you ask a question, all I do is I read your vibration from the wording that you're using. And, um, you know, that was when you wrote the question. So, you know, you could be in a different place right now because we're constantly, you know, moving up and down in, in where we are in our, what our state of being is at the moment. But from when that question was asked, how do we believe it's possible despite the specific person situation? So basically what you've done is you've taken this person that you appreciate, whose qualities you appreciate, whose presence you appreciate in your life at least at some point which led you to decide that you would really like to have this person as a someone who is in your company often right that's what a relationship is um, so you have now associated that person and this desire with what is not working out because that is what is not working out so how can I believe anything is possible when this whole relationship thing is not working out for me? And it's like, it's like saying, how can I believe when I don't believe? And you just decide that you're going to not disbelieve it. And stop assigning this person as the thing in your life that isn't coming. Because that's based on evidence and i'm going to tell you again because this is what i say for specific for specific person people um it's if you're if you're so hung up and whether you want to hear this or not it doesn't really matter because this is truth and i will only speak truth um, i can tell you every, anything you want is possible but you have to understand that what you want that you have wanted in your entire life, everything in your vibrational escrow, in your vortex, whatever you want to call it, that is all kept note of. So, you know, you think this is what you want and this is very possible what's going to come with for you once you align with it. If you don't align with it, it's not going to show up for you or it's going to, if you don't align with this relationship not being um, a satisfactory thing in your life, then even if a relationship manifests, you're not going to feel satisfied with it. Um, so you have to kind of step back and understand that when you choose what you like, there's a whole huge area of things that, that you have already put in your vortex of creation from, you know, you're living your entire life. And those are things that you really want and really make you happy. So if you're saying, no, 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 it has to be this person, it has to be this person. If you actually do want to let it be that person, then you have to step back and say, I know that the best possible, amazing relationship is going to come into my life. And if it's this person, so be it. That would be awesome. You know, and just loosen up your grip on this person because nobody likes that. I mean, you're not going to, you're not going to achieve a relationship with somebody when you are holding on to them so tightly because even if it's just in your mind that person will be repelled from you um and it's kind of creepy too so <laughs> that, that's why you know just let go and just allow yourself and it can be scary it can be scary when your heart is set on a specific person but you cannot have that specific person you cannot be in a happy relationship with this person if you don't loosen up your grip on the insistence that it is this one person you're not letting go of the person you're letting go of the grip on the person because the grip on the person is keeping them away whether it's just vibrationally or if it's 
vibrationally and because of actions that you've done that you've taken from that that the person can um see has experienced physically or even if it's just with your mind you when, when you that is your state of being and you're holding on something tightly it scares people away they just will not gravitate towards you especially if they're living a happy life if they're living a happy life they're not going to be attracted vibrationally at all to someone who has such a tight grip on them because that's not living a happy life and that's not that's not going to match up with this well-being of of life where the basis of it is freedom you know like you you are not going to attract someone who's in a good place um who is ready to have a good relationship by um not giving yourself and them freedom because you're holding yourself in torment right now pretty much if you're insisting on a specific person again are you gonna want to hear this i don't know i was this person before and i did not want to hear this um but i did allow myself to hear eventually and you know if you don't know the story then look it up in other videos so um yeah um just basically you can't attract a good relationship by um dissecting um what you need to do in order to get this one person like like you're on um like you're just so intent on that one person and there's so much tension about it and i know this because the person who um i think i'm not sure but the person who commented this you know that's those are the questions that they usually ask and that's fine i've been there i've been there but um do yourself give yourself the blessing of loosening up your vibe around relationships and around this person if you want this person you have to loosen your grip on them um in your mind and they will come to you so easily so easily that's the thing people come to us easily and if we're not easy about it then they're not gonna come okay <laughs> um so there you go and if you have any comments if you have any um protests if you have any um stories that are evidence of this uh, other watchers viewers of this video please comment below and I, I would really appreciate it i love hearing stories i hear them all the time and i always welcome them um so there you go if you like this video please click like if you'd like to subscribe um i don't always talk about relationships but i do sometimes because a lot of the questions i get asked are about relationships and that's part of the first that's the first large thing large thing i manifested in my life after understanding fully the law of attraction and the nature of reality um so i was going with this but yes if you'd like to subscribe please do so and click the bell for notifications and i will see you guys in the next video thank you